So over the course of the last few years, I have come to realize that I'm a bit of a pushover. Like, people can influence me pretty easily and I don't have like a strong opinion one way or another. And also, like, I don't want to like cause anybody extra trouble or like kind of make things harder for other people. Like, I will have trouble sending emails or making calls to other people like for work or apartments or whatever, especially recently, to make changes or to make things different than what was planned because I feel like it'll inconvenience the other person or something like that. I also like when there's some kind of discussion usually I'm like oh yeah you're probably right about that or whatever like I don't always try to push my opinion. I know there's like an exception for like with my parents I feel like that's different because like I know them a lot better and I feel more comfortable pushing back. But I feel like a lot of times I kind of am just like, you know, it'll be easier this way or whatever, like we can do this. And I don't always just like force my opinion. But um, I feel like I need to work on that a lot because in the workplace that can like lead to bad things like being a pushover you can like get burnt out if you say yes to too many things and like there are so many instances in life especially like in in, in an individualistic society where everyone's trying to like do their own thing and like push their own agenda and whatever you have to like sometimes stand your ground you know and I feel like I've been really bad at that up to this point. Um, for a bit of an update, this weekend I went to Minnesota and dropped off a bunch of my stuff there and got the apartment settled so that after um, a few weeks when I decide to actually move in, um, It'll be all set and ready to go and I'll be ready to go to work. I am also a bit nervous about that because I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. I am like helping people with their mental health treatment but like I feel like a lot of the job description bullet points that I read were like not very specific. It was lot like helping out with the treatment doing this doing that but not really like specifically what I'd be doing day to day you know hour to hour sort of thing so kind of nervous for that don't really know what's going on um besides that I'm like kind of a little bit sad that I'm gonna be leaving everything here that I have Hopefully for not too long, I know that I want to get experience at this job and spend time with Nick and we need to be more settled and ready to move back closer to my family so we like will be in the middle kind of, or not really in the middle but like closer, a little closer to my family but um, in Wisconsin. Um, so even though I live in Illinois right now, it'll be close enough, I think, to, like, be able to drive to see my family, like, on the weekends or whatever, but until then, I'm gonna be living in Minnesota and basically in this apartment that's actually really, really nice. I'm, like, kind of shocked by how nice it is and Compared to like apartments around here, it's cheaper, but I feel like compared to apartments there, it's like one of the most expensive. So I don't know how to feel about that. I'm like really glad though that like I'm getting this apartment because it's honestly super exciting. 
this is a big step for me i feel like this like independence i guess is something i've been pushing for for a long time and even though like it's been such a big deal up until this point i'm not feeling super like excited or i guess i don't know if it's because of the medication but i'm not feeling like overjoyed or like this is what i've been waiting for for so long or anything like that could be because of the medication like i already said because i feel like those like dull my emotions a bit but i think that could be a good thing because then i have less of a chance to be manic when i make this change which has happened so many times before when i make big changes i guess stressed out i like my moods change, I stay up at night because I, I'm just thinking about so much stuff and it's not the best. But I think this time could be different. I'll have Nick who knows a lot about like my swings and stuff and how to notice things. So I think that will help me a little more than... When I was at U of I the other two times when I really didn't have the support system I needed, I still do need to find a prescriber for my medications in Minnesota, but that shouldn't be a big deal. I think that um, in general, like Minnesota has a pretty good healthcare system. They have like, what's it called? I don't remember what it's called, but it's in Rochester and it's kind of like spread around Minnesota. Um, I'm blanking right now, but uh, yeah, so there should be like available people like professionals for me and I'm not terribly worried about that. I just have to make sure that I have one by the time I get there. Um, but yeah, it's like something that i've been building up to this whole time up to this point i graduated like everything is falling into place now um i'm really sad to leave my family and friends and everything i know behind but i think that i will be coming back sooner rather than later i hope like no longer than a couple years I'll be gone but you know like with my grandpa having alzheimer's and like my grandparents getting older and my parents even getting older like i want to spend more time with them and it feels like really bad to leave my grandparents house because i've been living with them for like the past year ish and like i know that my grandpa's getting worse and my grandma likes my company and just i mean it's really hard to leave them especially when my grandpa's getting worse and my grandma needs someone else to talk to in the house and like i like being here too so there's definitely a big sacrifice i'm making with that um like i don't even know how much longer my grandpa has he's not like terribly like he's not gonna be probably okay i'm not gonna say anything for sure but like he seems to be okay i've seen people in worse condition at the nursing home and they lived like a little bit um for a while actually so like i don't really know how long he has like he could be gone in the next year could be a few years i don't know and i want to be back here to be around him for as long as he has left but i am going away and i mean i'm really hoping i still have time so that's just a lot of what's going on in my mind i know i started this video talking about like this pushover situation and it kind of turned into more of an update video but um i feel like that's just a thing that i've been reflecting on recently and i want to 
like be able to be stronger in my opinion and what I want in a multitude of situations and I think that goes along with everything that I'm doing now like I would need to like listen to my own voice which is really hard because I feel like I've kind of in a sense lost my own opinion in the midst of it, hearing everyone else's so I feel like I really need to dig deep and like discover what I want what I am thinking and like all that stuff so yeah to wrap up for this video all that moving to Minnesota leaving my family all that's happening and I do want to be stronger in my opinions and also just straight up finding out what my opinions are um so I will see you guys next week hopefully I will try to get a video out by then I may not so if you have gotten this far you might not be seeing a video next week but we shall see um but i will be back sometime for sure and i will see you guys next time